Frontier just dropped a bomb in the middle of the carrier debate and now I'm so happy I want to cry. Oh and I'm Commander Burr. We've been on tenterhooks all morning waiting for an announcement from Frontier about what changes if any they were going to make to the ongoing beta for the new fleet carriers. Let's be honest commanders it's been a tough week. I won't go over the whys and whatnots with all things beta 1. There's hours of videos about that if you want to see them still one of which is linked on screen now. The team promised to listen to players feedback and they promised to act on it and they have delivered on both those promises with gusto. Almost every single complaint that was made about carriers so far has been addressed with staggering incoming changes. So here's the headlines. Let's talk about upkeep costs right off the bat shall we. Upkeep costs for additional services on your carrier will be reduced by 80 to 90% just like that. The biggest bugbear the community had slashed to a fraction of what it was. Core running costs for the base carrier will also be reduced by half. This essentially means that the upkeep costs for a carrier with all the active services online will be reduced by 85%. The debt and decommission threshold has also been significantly increased from 4 weeks to 10 weeks meaning a fully kitted out carrier can run for 10 weeks without paying any upkeep before a final warning will be issued. This will hopefully mean that any still active player should have more than enough time to fund ongoing operations on a carrier. Furthermore the total upkeep activation costs of services on the carrier have been reduced by 35 to 45% significantly reducing the overall outfitting and maintenance costs of fleet carriers. One of the biggest shocks however was yet to come after lots of speculation and rumour around technical hurdles and jump timers the spin up and cool down times have been completely smashed. Your carrier will now take 15 minutes to spin up for a jump and then be ready to jump again wait for it just 5 minutes later. In theory you can jump your carrier every 20 minutes. 1500 light years an hour assuming you have the fuel available. That really opens the door to all sorts of player run mad plans that we've been seeing floating about for carriers. But Frontier still weren't finished with the bombshell hose. As part of the second beta next month players will also be able to add universal Carter graphics to their carriers. The carrier will take 25% off of the payment for the data half of which will go back into the carrier the other half to the service itself meaning players will only lose 12.5% of the station price for cartographic data. Coupled with that the efficiency of tritium fuel will be increased by a factor of 2. Together with the cartographic data changes and spin up and cool down times the carrier is now absolutely about to become a seriously viable exploration and long range support platform. The post on the forum also promises more changes to come in the beta next month that will also see PlayStation and Xbox commanders jumping into the fray. Whatever the reason for the initial starting point that Frontier chose for carriers it's clearly apparent that they have listened to players and have acted in accordance with the feedback that they've received. Whilst there are more changes to come here at the pit we're confident that with these changes alone the carriers have gone from being a difficult to justify non-starter to a seriously desirable potentially must have end game utility. The current beta is still running however and Frontier are still looking for constructive feedback so let's carry on testing and tweaking the current system and if there's something that you still feel is being missed fuel management transfer from cargo to fuel depot anyone then this should give you a degree of confidence at least that Frontier are listening and are willing to make changes. As I've mentioned the second beta is coming next month and then the full launch is scheduled for June. June can't come soon enough. The forum post from Frontier is linked below. What are your thoughts with all this? Is it enough to make you want a carrier? What other changes would you like to see? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video hit the little thumbs up button and also consider subscribing to the channel. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. 
We very much look forward to seeing you next time.